So, it is a new week. Hello and welcome uh, to Stream Week number two. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to do a second full-on ass stream week. And then I was like, you know, what else am I doing? Hello. Um, so, last Friday we left off at the end of uh, entry number 66 of Marble Hornets. Uh, so, today we're going to pick up where we left off uh, with entry number 67. Um, so yeah, I was looking at, um, how much longer we had, um, until the end, because I've been doing these in about two hour chunks. Um, season two was a little bit of, uh, an anomaly in that sense, in that it was two and a half hours. But apart from that, we've been doing it about in two hour chunks. So, um, I was looking to see whether or not we'd be finishing season three or not. And the answer is tonight, and the answer is no. We're going to continue tomorrow night. Uh, but we're going to get uh, a good ways into this bad boy. Um, I'm a little scruffy today. I realized about five minutes before this that I hadn't shaved in a few days. But uh, you know what? Uh, we're living in the quarantine times, so who cares? Uh, other than that... Trying to think if I'm missing anything. I know this is not one of the gamer streams, so I will keep gamer talk to a minimum. But if you haven't been checking out the game streams, you should. They're a lot of fun. We've been doing uh, uh, Death Stranding for the last few uh, last week. But uh, there was a game, one of the two um, PlayStation Plus freebies this month was a game called Dirt Rally 2, which is a it is a rally racing game like European style like dirt rally stuff uh which I knew nothing about uh had seen a handful of clips on YouTube over the over time but other than that that's about it uh but I decided to give it a shot and man it is fun but I don't know if it would be fun to stream or not so I didn't stick it on the schedule but um maybe throughout the week I might flip on the uh twitch broadcast settings and broadcast while I'm uh crashing my dirt rally car but uh it's pretty fun um so check it out if you're into that other than that I do believe we are ready to go let me oh I'm going to have to go to the DVD menu again because I didn't flip the subtitles on from there. Um, so if you all give me just a second, it's like it won't let me select subtitle track from here. Do, do, do. Menu. Should probably unmute the audio player or the uh, video player. Okay. Subtitles on main menu. So we're going to skip straight the heck ahead to where we left off last time, which was... Oh no, did I mess up these buttons? Nope, I didn't. Entry number 67. That's not entry 67. That's the uh, To The Ark video from previously. Oops. But that's okay. We'll watch this one again. I like watching this one, so... I'm fine with watching it a second time. How is everybody, by the way? Do we have a good weekend? Guess I should have asked that before I hit play. It's too late now. My favorite entry is one that we will be getting to tonight. And I will tell you which one it is when we get there. She was right here, moving back. Wait, no, this is entry 66. Dang it!
Did I seriously mess up the... Whatever. Out of the way. I don't want to talk about it. Okay, fine, we'll start from right here. Previously on Marble Hornets, entry number 66. In real life, I threw a wrench and almost lost it. We did not go all the way to entry number 69 because honestly, I have no idea how long these entries are. So, you know, we could have been here for another hour for all I knew. And I was not going to look it up. Will I play Slender the Arrival someday? No. <laughs> Wait. I guess I should plug in my lamp. It's still light outside right now, but it won't be forever. Not by the end. And to the few people who commented saying, please don't do these at 7 p.m. because that's 2 a.m. my time, to that I say, stay up. We're living in the zone now, bud. Time isn't real. I mean, it's always been fake, but just right now it's extra fake. Really hoping the audio is supposed to be like this. Otherwise, I'd be very upset. So funny story <laughs> about the DVDs with the, the menu. The background video also has some glitching on it, uh, like some screen tearing. And whenever I sent the files in uh, to the DVD company for them to author them. I got a message saying, hey, uh, I think there might be an issue with some of the, the video. Like, the menu, I've noticed, like, there's some weird video glitching. And I was like, it's okay, bud. It's supposed to be like that. But thank you for double-checking. Where are you in Eastern Standard Time? I am in Atlanta, mostly. I'm very close. I kind of don't even remember this one, if I'm being honest with you. Folks, the video camera does indeed go. Oh, you're supposed to go to Dunwoody. Hey, I live very close to there. I go to doctor's appointments there. Hopefully your summer trip is still on by summertime. I guess we'll see. Bah! 
we learned our lesson from the uh, from uh, the entry where Joseph swats me while I'm peeing, and we got a bigger pipe for this one. Yes, now I remember. Yet again, another building that is around uh, the abandoned hospital building. It's very close. It's right behind it. Uh, I believe the f camera the direction is facing right now, that f through the front way, is where the big boiler room from season one was. I'm strong. We should have made Joseph's face a little nastier, if you ask me. A little more hecked up. Does he do the hand move with the gun? He almost did. At least we kept it realistic by having a large portion of the tapes be unplayable. Much like real life. Got a haircut last time I woke up in this area. <coughs> Hair is only about half as big. <coughs> oh no. <coughs> I got some gnarly sounding coughs. Is it weird watching my old self? Not as weird as you'd think. More so when we just started these, but by now I'm I'm it's, it's I'm used to it now. Yeah, so fake coughing that much just kind of activates your gag reflex anyway after a while. So eventually we were just like, why don't I just do it? Why don't I just go all the way? So this hotel, I can't remember exactly what it was called, but I do remember that it was across the road from the, the one from season two in the Ramada. Um, but the... When we recorded the video, the DVD commentary for the original season one DVD back in 2011, which I don't necessarily recommend, <laughs> um, we did it in this hotel, so that's how we knew about it. Is the limp a continuity error? Uh, I guess you could call it that. I mean, really, you know, I probably don't limp all of the time, but I like to think, you know, enough time passed between my leg injury and now, uh, now is in this, so what, like a year, two years? I like to think it's maybe one of those things that 
doesn't trouble him all the time, but maybe comes back occasionally when he's under stress. So, you know, I guess if you were super nitpicky, you could call it a continuity error, but who cares? That's how I am with pretty much every continuity error, though, to be honest with you. Whatever, man. Uh, Mosh pit, Mosh's pit, okay, Mosh spit. We're on oh. sixty-seven point five. I am the anti-cinema sins. If anything, I'm pro continuity errors. Safest thing to do, right? Yeah. Let's get out of here. When was the last time you watched Marble Hornets before this? Uh, probably whenever we did the DVD commentary back in 2014. I probably watched chunks of it when we were doing live commentaries okay. at a convention in 2015, but I haven't seen yeah, it since Alex then. Is still out there. He's going to find us sooner or later. <sighs> was I planning to go to MomoCon before it was cancelled? No. Tastefully unbuttoned shirts. I guess I could have maybe undone one more button. Just to be a little saucy. I've been to Dragon Con before. It's been a while. This, those passes are expensive. I will tell my wife that you said the nice thing thank you on her behalf thank you by someone other than me who who could it be will I go to Omnicon next year yes probably I was gonna go this year and then I got wait well it got postponed to October as far as I know unless they straight up cancelled it Do we think about construction of so shots? There's surprisingly lovely shots in this series. Uh, yes, quite a bit. It's kind of a balancing act because you you know it is a found footage handicam series at the end of the day, but that still doesn't make it impossible to plan what your shots are going to look like. So, oh, the the shots where the camera is set down are easier to frame obviously but you know by this point in the series we we we'd been using that camera enough that we kind of figured out how to make it look good I think in my opinion I think it looks pretty good <laughs> The scene was tortured during the original run. Why? Because it was slow or because...
Usually if Hoodie's on screen and is also holding the camera, I would say with probably Troy most of the time. Not all the time. May have been me in this one, actually. It was definitely Troy for this part. Yes. Wipe that stupid smile off your face. You will not. You won't. Do it. You won't. I guess it's not that surprising that sometimes people were afraid of coming up to Joseph at conventions. More so in the early days, less so later on. until he tracks my IP. Oh, here we go. This is the one with the words. Thanks, Creative Cloud. Y'all folks remember what them numbers mean? Hey, it's entry number nice. 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 <laughs> sure you don't want anything? Huh? Sure you don't want anything? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Ugh. Almost there anyway. How much further we got? It would have killed me to not wear uh, such baggy ass know, pants all the time. 30 minutes tops. Is it still not going to feel like we're running away from something important? I mean... We should have come out here at some point anyway. Might as well do what we know. Alex is somewhere else, right? This was... Jessica's still there. She there was a rest stop like one or two exits away. up from the one we lived at. So we were like, well, yeah, why not use it? What good would it do her if Alex found Looks us enough first. like a park, I guess. Well, we were doing pretty good at avoiding him. Just um, needed some more time or better strategy or something. Sound like extra folksy in this us. one. I don't think our luck could have lasted forever. Do you? No. Guess we can always go back. To the yeah. Buddy, ain't you supposed to take those when you wake up? Maybe I did just wake still up. Helping. Yep. Taking one every few hours just oh. to be safe. Is that how many you're supposed to take? Hey. For now. Alright, I guess I've just been kind of paranoid after, you know, 
seeing what happened with them before. No, it won't happen again. Just trust me. Ready to go? Yeah, if you are. It's either that or hang out here. Just guys being dudes. I'm so tired of driving. Yeah. Makes two of us. See, all these woods look similar enough. We can just say they're Rosswood if we want to. Nothing wrong with that. What music did Tim and Jay listen to on their road trip? Uh, Proclaimers, mostly, I think. I'm not even into Weezer in real life, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I'd do him the courtesy of not writing that in. Whoa. Good. I got holes everywhere out here. Nice timing. What is it? Oh, I just thought I saw something. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What'd you see? I thought I saw something moving over there for a second, but it was nothing. Pretty positive. I mean, nowadays, even just thinking we saw something's enough to be worried. I know, but uh, it was just a bird flying between the trees. Come on. If you say so. The cyberhawk again. I'm drinking something from Eventide Brewery, which is a local one. It's a Citrus Grove Hefeweizen. It's delicious. This is where you found that tape, right? Yep. Where was it exactly? It was inside, wasn't it? Yeah, it was up a, a ladder in here. That's right. Ledge up there on the right. Uh, yeah. Sitting right on top of that. All right, we'll hold this. <laughs> it came out all this way. Might as well check. Maybe we missed something. All right, well, be careful because the last time I was it was like three years off. ago. So. I'll be all right. Next rung is broken, but I don't see anything up here. Yeah, I think there would be. I don't know what I expected to find. What is it? Shh. What is it? Ooh. Come back down. <gasps> now that's some cinematography, folks. There's someone out there. I think somebody follows us. How could anybody know where I I don't know. I just looked outside there. It's just a person sitting there staring. See, scenes like this, I can't remember exactly how much of it was scripted or not. I don't see anybody. They're right there. Look at where they are anymore. Well, no, but they were just here. Did you point the camera at them at all? Yeah, I, I think so. That sure. Here, rewind it. Let's check. Oh, yeah. I 
I'm positive there's someone standing outside when you were up there. I just didn't point the camera directly at him like I thought I did. It must have been like off to the side of the frame or something. Well, that's why we're leaving right now. We should have left the first time you said you saw something. Sorry. It's fine. Let's just go. Oh. You alright? Yeah. You good to walk? Give me a second. There's holes. Yeah, watch out for those holes. <sighs> Man, you got lucky. This one's deep. This one's deep. So you had another another example. Oh, you want the ASMR version? So uh, another example of uh, is that a tape? planting the seeds of a story that you can sure use later like on. There's more. In season one, he pointed the camera at this very hole. Didn't Alex say he was going to burn those Marble Hornets tapes it. before he gave them to you? He played some distortion yeah, while he was looking at the hole, so he thought, that. well, sure why don't we make it well, that no, come back but, what if these are his? later in the series? Go, uh, check the other holes around here. So we did. We found a way one. to use it okay. again. that I can see. Oh yeah, that's right. I think this one might still play. The case is melted. Someone said someone found some is. tapes out there. I speci I remember that. After we one. shot this, we were like, let's leave a few in that hole so if anybody finds it, they have a little souvenir. And someone did actually find them. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Let's go. Any footage left on those tapes? Uh, I don't remember if we put anything on them, but it probably wouldn't play. Honestly, this is the biggest uh, stretch of reality in the whole show is getting those tapes to actually play. Yeah, shout out to Lee for finding those. And just all of the locations in general. <laughs> I believe there is a uh, Marble Hornets locations custom Google Maps floating around out there. If anybody happens to be in the area. How much filming did you do on actual tapes? None. If we'd actually used tapes, these would have been in standard def and looked a lot worse. Isn't Alex just the nicest? He's so sweet. Uh, yeah, I 
got back a few minutes ago. No, I'm at home. Uh oh. Uh, my reception gets a little spotty out here sometimes, so maybe you're hearing static or something. He's so sweet, and yet he's telling fibs. Yeah, like I said, though, I'm just gonna go to bed, okay? I'll talk to you later. Alright, bye. Where is this? I don't know where this is. Oh, this is the uh, playground from season one, I do believe. Good night, person who's going to bed. We saw this place a few years ago, and it was bad news then, buddy. Oh, wait. This does take place a long time ago. I think... Right? Yes. It does. You think you all have trouble keeping, trouble keeping track of the timelines in this thing. Camera go brrrr. <coughs> oh yeah, I, I remember I was there for this one and it was kind of a surreal experience because I was like, I've never been to this place cause I, but I saw it. Yeah, this was sec technically supposed to be in 2006. Wasn't that long ago back then. Oy. There's probably somebody that was born then watching this. Right now. Jesus Christ. You didn't have to actually say it. Not I'm not once again not looking at the chat window. Just not looking at it. Mm-mm. Uh, so this is the same house from entry seventy two. And there's a lot of memories attached to this house for me because this was my grandparents' old house. And after they... They... I think my grandmother passed away in 2010, I think, but they were already... had moved out of this house before then. But my parents had sort of fixed it back up and they... They were the, they were the, the ones sort of whatever the word is, in charge of it, whatever. Um, and they've been trying to sell it for a long time, but they hadn't. So in the meantime, there was just this empty house. So I asked them if we could use it, and they said, yeah, sure. So we filmed this entry with the intention of coming back. And then after we shoot this one, my mom's like, hey, we sold the house, so if you need it for anything else, hurry up. So entry 72 was shot all in one day. Because it was the very last day before it changed hands to the new owners. This is very much a time capsule for me.
Yeah, uh, come on. Where are you moving to? Somewhere cheaper. Is this the house from Troy Moves Out? No. That was the house that they were literally moving out of. That's why we decided to, uh, that's how we got the idea. Also, you can't just keep the footage for something else. You can use it in B-roll for something you should I just don't want to deal with it anymore, okay? It wasn't that good to begin with, and I just want to start with something. Lies. You thought it was great. If you don't want it, just, I'll take it. I mean, it's better than the alternative, being all dramatic and burning them. Is that okay? Can you do that? Fine. Doing that. As, as long as it's okay. It's okay. Alright. I mean, I probably shouldn't keep tapes of it in an attic because I'm blind control. I mean, humidity can ruin that kind of stuff if you're not careful. This fella knows a thing or two about home renovation. You had this many of them, but uh, thanks for giving them to me. You got uh, like lots of shots of wooded areas and stuff on here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Look, I don't want to talk about this again. All right. Sure There's no way we didn't that. put that in on purpose. Jay, I'm not kidding. Don't ever bring this up around me again. Okay. I'll see you around. Bye. The, the wooded areas line was what I was laughing at. There's no way we didn't do that on purpose, I don't think. Is there a bunch of wooded areas on this? Yes. Switching to Adobe Premiere really gave uh, Troy a lot more distortion options in this season. He used Sony Movie Studio Platinum for season one and two, which is like the the less fancy version of Sony Vegas. I think it's like sixty or seventy bucks. I think it's on Steam even. It goes on sale on there sometimes. Or it used to be. I don't know if it still is. Not when he bought it. <laughs> My favorite entry of this entire series is coming up, and I'll say which one it is. It came with the camera you had. Honestly, it may have come with his, too. Might have been why he had it. <laughs> I never edited the entries, but I did. Um, there were a couple of entries, including this one, which is my favorite which I did do some, uh, I did jump into the editing software to do some uh, audio editing with How we for some, get of the, uh, some of the some of the audio out. distortion sound effects. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this one. Can always break a window, but hopefully it won't come to that. Well, that for rent sign over there looks like it's been here for quite a while, so I don't know if anybody had even noticed. Used to be a barn back there this is weird. when I was a kid. I remember 
smash this the TV in there. A lot more wooded than this. But of course, apparently my memory of here is very spotty already. Well, that's kind of a difficult thing to deal with, but it's just fun. remember you're not the only one. If that helps. I guess. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Is it that easy? Just don't jinx it. It will never happen again. Nice place. Why would whoever owns this place just leave it unlocked like that? You probably didn't expect people like us to just wander in here. I don't know if anybody else has lived here after Alex did, but if so, I don't know if we're gonna find much of anything. It's worth a shot, though. Hopefully we find something that'll help us get to Alex before he gets to us. I don't know what that would be, though. I think we're a little closer now. I mean, you finally know how you got roped into this for real. Better than nothing, I guess. I guess, but it still doesn't make sense to me. Like, why did he give me the tapes in the first place? Well, honestly, I think he got mixed up in things that he couldn't control. And he gave you the tapes that made him look like the victim rather than the cause. Yeah. Maybe. Why did he just attack me like that after he gave them to me? You heard him talking to Amy on the phone on that tape. That doesn't sound like a killer to me. Or a liar, maybe. Now, whenever he attacked you, that didn't look planned. I think he panicked. That's why he took off. Yeah. Maybe he tried to burn that tape of him talking to Amy because he didn't want anyone else but her to know where he was going. That's entirely possible. The only way we can know for sure is to ask him. Can't exactly do that. Yeah. I don't think there's anything in here. Is that like a closet? Uh, basement. Did you, uh, did you bring the flashlights by any chance? Yeah, but uh, they're still in your car. Oh. We can come back after we look at the rest of the house. I think he points the camera at the light switch because we didn't bother actually turning the lights off, like on the breakers or anything, so. <laughs> Check in there. I'll check this room. All right. Right now, the strangest part of this for me is just. I think this is the closet in here. That this house. Alex hit that box. This is in. literally the very last day I ever spent in this house. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Oh wait, hold on. Come here. Yeah, I think so. More of these. Yeah. The new owners were home by the next, going to be out in the next morning, so we worked on this entry until like maybe 3 a.m. or so. A bunch of crossed off names. So the very first convention we ever did, we had a contest, and the winner... Uh, someone drew one of those pages and we said we were going to slip it into an entry. But we didn't say when. And two years later, we finally slipped it in. It's one of those pages there. Tall grass. There's nothing out here now. I pointed the camera at it. So this was here, also the Jay, look, no. very oh, first entry we made after we got back from uh, but I'm fine. I'm not visiting the set of the Marble Hornets stupid, movie that we had been invited to go visit. So I think we we were extra energetic for this one. I don't think I had the creative juices flowing. I just haven't had a full night's sleep in what two or three years because of all this. Look, as soon as we get out of here, we need to take you someplace to get help because this stuff does not go away. Trust I me. I don't need help. I'll this be is fine. how it started with me. Is that how you want to end up? I'll be okay. Look, we just got a couple more rooms left to look at, and then we can figure out after that. Let's get the flashlights out of the car so we can check the attic. Put these in there too. Where's the attic? Oh, right there. Okay. I think if 
put the flashlights in the trunk. Okay. I'm just put these in my bag, I guess. Alright. No, no, top pocket, top pocket. Okay. I think the top pocket line was supposed to be foreshadowing, but then we changed it. Oops. Or maybe we didn't. Should go check those I don't remember. I only looked in the one. Okay. I don't think anything will be in, but we might as well. He keeps the extra saucy shirts oh, in the yeah. top pocket. Even saucier than this one. Can you get me a with this real quick? Oh, is it jammed? Yeah. Uh, set the camera down. Ugh. <laughs> Terrific. One of my Anything? favorite shots we ever did. Nope. I don't see anything. That was a waste of time. Yep. I just got this last one. For years, we had all wanted to do a shot where the camera sees the operator, but the characters don't. We finally were able to pull it off in this one. in here. We can look in. We're gonna need a ladder to get up there. Yeah. Oh, uh, you think there might be one in the basement? I mean, we gotta go down there anyway. Yeah. Might as well look. So this is probably one of the most memorable moments in the series for a lot of people. And once again, uh, yeah. it's also probably one of the simplest. Because all we had to do was cover the basement windows. It's darker than I thought it would be. Jay? What time is it? I'm not even saying that to try and, you know... I don't know. Uh, ru ruin the moment or anything. I'm just saying sometimes it's the simplest solutions work the best. Is that outside? Yeah. Come on, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. So this was one we were able to kind of play around with the positioning a little bit because if you were to draw a map, it's like the basement door was on the side and, you know, the the I'm basically making a big long loop around from the side of the house to way behind the back of the house and then coming back to the back of the house. But through editing, you can kind of fudge exactly where the uh, positioning is. This is a gnarly one. Must have been behind the, the little barn area, maybe. I 
Turns out those pills were just a cough suppressant the whole time. Other than that, he was fine. I'm kidding. The cough seemed so real because it was. Smoke, be a smoker for a few years and you can fake cough with the best of them. Don't actually do that. favorite shot in the whole thing. And there is a lot of circuit sniffing sounds in this. Probably a good ten layers. Yeah, he doesn't move much, but you can see his head turn there. Stay with me, buddy. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Come on. We gotta get to the car. Let's get to the car. And then we can get out of here. Come on. <coughs> Come on. Uh, what? Where is where are we going? Go into the car. It's right up ahead. Okay. You get your flashlight? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I got it. You're gonna be alright. Alright. So I remember saying whenever we had, were figuring out that scene where the operator shows up near the end there, being like, this needs to be, this needs to be the big moment, this needs to be like just an all out sensory assault and just as much as we can, anything we can think of, throw it in there and um, so that is why, uh, so yeah, with that, with that, uh, I gotta, I gotta swap virtual discs here real quick, folks. So yeah, so that's why, um, so I just sort of jumped into the editing software and, uh, with just all of this stuff that I had recorded over the last year or so, and I was just like putting in as much as we possibly could because I wanted it to be a huge, a big memory, you know? Or, a, you know, a big moment that would be memorable. And, um, you know, I think we pulled it off, personally. <laughs> I might be a little biased. Are we going to watch some Thack videos live one day? Well... Tomorrow, we're, this is not going to take up the whole two hours to finish this thing, so if you ask me, that would be the time.
If you've never seen any of our Thack comedy shorts, in my opinion, you are in for a treat. Okay, so two things. A, this was definitely me in this one. B, we put this in here specifically because of how much Brian is into rock climbing in real life. And we wanted to reference that somehow. Did I ever climb up abandoned buildings just for the clout? Well, um, if you were in one of the previous streams, there is a location that we knew about and we always had in our back pocket just in case we wanted to use it, but we never found a reason to. Um, but if you look on my personal YouTube channel, there's a video that I did as a student project called The Mill. Um, and that building there, I actually... We knew someone in the area that was familiar with it that had been in there a bunch of times that had grown up in that area. And uh, he actually showed us around, and I ended up climbing all the way up to the top of it. It was very, very high. Not safe at all. Would not recommend. non-slip shoes I had bought for my previous diner job. Why does Tim take pills when he cough when they're m mental illness medicine? Because for a visual medium, you need a visual indicator. The two go went hand in hand. Fellow, where'd you get them things? Brian wear the same dirty ass clothes the entire time or does he have multiple sets? Um, as they say in, in many uh, math and science textbooks that will be left as an exercise for the reader. Right behind him is the train bridge area from, oh yeah, this area right here. So he's actually walking away from the spot. He was in the opposite direction from the way he just was, I think. But that way probably looked better. You can always tell whenever we moved during the course of this series because suddenly we had a new location to use. Case in point. Most likely the only time in my life I would ever say that I had cool landlords for the guys that own this house. They own the guitar shop down the street, too, and they uh, sold me that banjo that I have for cheap. <laughs> I 
Oh, the brick bunker bunker that I rented for two seventy five. Hell, she may still be there, for all I know. As far as I know, she's been running that same building since like the seventies. Yeah, agreed on landlords as a concept, but this particular set are about the best you could ask for. They actually gave us our deposit back, if you could believe that. How do we come up with the mass designs? A, that wasn't me. B, I don't remember. Ah, so there is an Easter egg to a Thack short in this one. Very briefly. If you look somewhere, you can see the razor from Troy Shaves' his face in that cabinet. Which was also just my actual razor, but still. <laughs> So another thing about found footage is that it's very easy to control if you're like in a room with a bunch of stuff you don't want to show. You just point the camera at the ground. Oh, we must have just moved in because there's a bunch of boxes on the floor. Or, you know, it could have been until like six months in. <laughs> Pretty sure my wife still has that box. You better watch out. You better watch out. You better watch out. Sorry. <laughs> you better watch out. Oh yeah, I just straight up kept the camera on me and left it rolling when I was shopping for snacks. Did not say I was filming anything. Strategic uh, autofocus not kicking in to blur some of those brand names there. Ma'am, I would like you to supply me with as many Dorito as you can muster. I think this may have just been me by myself for this part. Look at that swoop, folks. That hair swoop, are you kidding me? tough thing to nail down especially when you still haven't discovered conditioner yet what is the best Dorito flavor honestly not wild about Doritos 
too dusty. When did I discover conditioner? I don't know, probably like 2015, 2016, something like that. I want to say it, I didn't really start using it until after my hair grow ba grew back, after I shaved it all off. Why'd you take the camera with you? I woke up and I thought it was stolen or something. I was kind of freaking out. Well, you agreed before we left, remember? You said you wanted me to keep recording everything in case something happened and you couldn't. Did something happen? Yeah. You've been pretty out of it since we went back to Alex's old house. Wives are essential for straight guy hygiene. You're absolutely right. Yeah. No arguments here. I remember going there and searching through those those bedrooms, and then we went down in the basement. I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of hazy now that I'm trying to remember it after that. Well, we ran into some trouble. You had some kind of seizure, and I had to drag you out of there. When but working honestly, on an entry, was pacing based on a series level or a per entry Shady. standpoint? Trouble. Season one, yeah. it was more so per entry. Although something and weird uh, this time. What? Later on, it became more. Well, after I found you, I managed to per get close series. to it, and then so, it just disappeared. Whenever we put put out a less eventful I, one. Do when people got mad about it. We'd just be like, the "That's okay. We know they'll like the li the next one." It had something to do with the medication I've been taking. I don't know. Some tiny pills are enough to stop something like this. Well, I managed to keep my composure and not black out, and had probably the worst headache I've ever had after that. But but the only explanation I can think of is the medication which is why I've been sharing them with you since we got back just to be safe because I wanted to you gave them to me when I was like unconscious or out of it or whatever yeah I wanted to make sure that you would be you know safe because no no, of... no don't, don't, no, don't I don't want your medication don't, don't give it to me just thinking it'll magically fix everything because I don't think it will we well, didn't have any idea who you were, where you were, anything that had happened. I didn't know what else to do. I'm do not actually do that, folks. To to Anyone right watching at home, well, do not share your sharing. meds. Has anything else happened since we got back from there? Especially not for They're free. In my house. Parody. Who? There was a Kidding. video that person in the hoodie was breaking into my house and stealing my medication and they knew exactly where to go so it looks like it wasn't the first time either <laughs> have you noticed stuff like that missing before satire times, parody I never really thought anything of it do not share your meds <laughs> it's not good well it gets worse i said parody not period D looks like alex has been hiding out in my attic waiting for us to get back We're not going back. Well, I'm not going to do that. That's my house. And we know we could be there now. And we can go in prepared this time. And we don't have much of a choice either because I'm running low on medication since I've been sharing with you. I'm out of refills, but there's some extras at the house. How many do you have left? Bad not news, bud. <laughs> Controlled substance laws. You're going to have sure to wait like three more weeks. Be there. I hope Stick so. it out. We need to head that way whenever you're feeling up to it. Because you need help too. Don't forget that. I think I'm fine. We can leave whenever you're ready. Leave We're just going to assume his meds are we'll not on the controlled first, substance we'll list. Yeah, you did. Peanuts, beef jerky, nothing fancy. The essentials. Yeah. Should have been cashews. Thanks. This place was called the Old English Inn. I remember that. And then right before we filmed this scene, when we were waiting for... I don't remember if it was me and Troy waiting for Joseph or me and Joseph waiting for Troy, but I remember we watched Space Jam on the hotel TV. Right before that.
We should have slipped in a come on and slam into this engine, into this, to the arc video. Can't believe we didn't. That would have been a great code for people to figure out. Spend hours decoding area or whatever. And then they finally uh, run it through the final processing and it says come on and slam. Maybe that's what this says. Which code was the one that no one could figure out that Troy lost the solution for? Which one is null? I forgot to show the names of the two of the arc videos in this. It doesn't show which one is which. Oh, null is the very last one. Do they get you scheduled? Yeah. Or yeah, you can do that over the phone. As soon as I can, but they'll call me. I'm good. The sooner the better. What were his meds for? Oh, hold on to his that. brain. Just slide around on the dash. You ready to head over there? I guess we have to. Alex is still there. I guess it's us versus him. We'll give him a whooping in the ass. He doesn't have that gun anymore. Well, we could have got another one. Knock him around a little bit. And you saw what happened when someone tried to turn that on him. Well, he can't just turn around and quit either. He'll find us eventually. Honestly, I'd rather go down fighting anyway. With my fists. It is going to be really weird if it comes to that. We come out on top, though, because... I don't remember what all I did before all this happened. Wasn't that long ago. No. Well, I do remember that I was living in a crappy apartment by myself doing nothing. Go sliding around that corner, bud. So at least now I guess I'm doing something. I don't know. Live stream of you reading Marble Hornets fanfiction. Nah. That's too mean. I can get away with doing these when it's something that I made or helped make but this is close enough but somebody else's stuff just feels mean just when i do it the rest of the way. yeah his sideburns are gone buddy his whole face is sideburn what are you talking about they just expanded hopefully that tape is still there when we get inside what? The uh, the tape that was in your living room. Whoever's in the hood found it in that video, remember? I'm a little more worried about Alex right now. I don't even remember where that is. I think I'm we sure just found that burned down house whenever we were driving around and we're like, even though it's in your yeah. house. Every tape I had, I gave Screw you. it. Let's use that. All right. Looks like half my hair is gelled. It probably is. Once again, still uh, figuring everything out for myself. Never sure why there was that pencil sharpener on the wall. Like it was a, a school or something. <laughs> I've come back around to thinking wood paneling on walls is cool. There's not two front doors. 
That was the back door. Nope. Sorry, person in the chat whose name I was too slow to read. Wood paneling is cool. I disagree. I disagree, Twitch. Not say who, but someone, uh, not a cast member of the show, uh, was looking around in the attic and accidentally put their foot through the ceiling. Looks like he was staying up here. There's a nice big hole. Wanted to wait until I got back At some point while we were living here, right yeah. in front of where that ladder is. So I think we had to get creative about shooting that area. I don't know if it had happened yet or not. Who's that? Is that Amy? I think so. That's where I keep all my old photos. It's got to be talking about Alex, right? Either him or whoever's in the hoodie. You know that address? No, but it shouldn't be hard to find. You keep looking around up here. I need to go check the living room. Wait, where are you going? A lot of these are references to real life places, but they're tweaked just enough that no one will be able to find them. Tim. Both this and uh, a couple other things, too. Yeah, nestled in the insulation. Well, that's where he sleeps, because it's nice and cushy. It's all fluffy. You can nestle up in there. Looks like there's some kind of struggle in here. I know I sure didn't leave it like this. Did you check over there? Hmm? That's where that tape was, remember? Oh, yeah. Seeing anything. My door's open. Huh? How much did the hostage Alex photos sell for? I don't didn't even remember if we sold those. Did we? I don't remember that. My medicine. Huh? I hid an extra bottle back here, just in case. Uh, still here. Would have been very embarrassing later on if he just zoomed in on my cigarette box, cigarette pocket. Sure, you didn't see that tape over here. No, but um, you keep looking. I'm gonna go check the rest of the house. Plot twist: Jay just wanted to film Tim's ass. Well, who wouldn't? Am I right? Oh, I missed it. Was the hole in the ceiling there? Um, it might have been. I'm sure we're it's fine literally now, right in front in of there. Yep, there it is. <laughs> I think we just put like a garbage bag or something over it. Tape, what are you doing? Give me the tape. What tape? I don't know. No, you have it. Give it to me. Get off. I don't know what's going on, but you need to calm down. Okay, stop it. What is this? What are you been hiding from? 
from me. It's something you need to see, but not yet. If you watch that now, it's gonna ruin everything we've been working on leaving. Jay, come back. Don't let follow me. Jay, listen to me. <coughs> As if I would lose any fist fight in real life. Let's be real here. <laughs> yes this entry is quite literally how to pick up girls Is there a continuity error, continuity error here with the pool being closed? I don't know. I didn't notice. Maybe. So, we didn't actually rent a room for this. We literally just ran in the side door, filmed the scene, and ran back out. I think we might have done two takes just to be safe, but this was real. This was real flying by the seat of the pants filmmaking here. Heck, the police. So this area here is also in what I was talking about last time with the nature break woods, kind of close to the river. Now there is a amphitheater right on the other side of the river. And if I remember correctly, the band Fun was playing there the night we were shooting this. And so we had to pause and we could only film like in between songs or you could faintly hear uh, Fun songs drifting across the river. Awful band, by the way. Just wretched. It's fine, I got it. Stop! Let her go. So, Jessica's actress, who also played, who's also named Jessica, Jessica. this is how much of a champ she is. So, in the daytime, she came, she was living in Birmingham, which is about an hour away. In the daytime, she came down here and shot the scene in the very last entry, entry number 87. What are you doing? She went back to Birmingham, performed in a play, came back here once it was dark, and we filmed all the nighttime scenes until like 3 a.m. Absolute champion. I think this was the first day that I even met her, too. We came out here and did some rehearsals before she left. I remember that while it was still daytime. Because the first time she ever met me was... I, don't like being I think I may have given off a bad impression because I'd bought a machete at Home Depot and I'd like hacked a path anyway? for us on the way to our little audition spot. 
I think I might have creeped her out a little bit. I can't remember where I live. I know what the house looked like. I just don't remember how to get there. Yeah. That's okay. That can be fixed. Once you get out here, I'm going to tell you everything. Okay, I'm so confused. If she did think I was a weirdo, she never said so. She was very nice. Who was that back there? The person in the brown hoodie? For real, yeah, you can I get a machete at Home Depot for like 20 bucks. Believe it. They're not very good, but they are technically machetes. Why didn't we use the machete in this scene? That's a little on the nose. Machetes in horror movies, that's been done. What is it? To death. I think I hear something. What? Like footsteps? I don't know, maybe. Keep going. It's closer to brown than it is yellow. It's like tan. The guns in horror movies, uh, more people in real life have guns than machetes. Especially where we live, bud. Buckaroo. Side. The one thing's for sure, it is not yellow. Sorry, cosplayers, you're going to have to throw all of it away. Shame. sure nobody's following us. But, uh, what? Just go ahead. I'm going to catch up to you on the other side. Go. The gun was not real. It was a stage prop gun that had one of those little orange caps over the barrel. And we colored over it in black w with a Sharpie, Did which I'm pretty anything? sure is uh, a big no-no. I think we would have gotten in really big trouble. Alex? If we'd gotten caught. What are you doing? It's all Jay's fault, Jessica. I'm sorry. No, it has to be done. No. Oh. 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 Stop! Jessica. No, shut up! Stay right there! So if I had to guess, that's probably me in the costume. And probably Troy holding the camera and the gun with Jessica doing the voices. Since you don't see a hand holding the gun, you just see a gun. That's just a guess. <laughs> Trinity string a bunch of numbers in the chat said Jessica just said it. Uno reverse You're right Hey Over here Cinema. Just terrific.
Mamma mia. That's the good stuff, folks. That's what I call it. I call it the good stuff. I don't really have anything to say other than it's great. It looks terrific. Big fan. So that's the thing whenever you're watching something that you... You were, you were one of the people that made, but it wasn't just you, so the stuff that wasn't you specifically, you're allowed to gush about. Oh man, that was great. Who is it? It's me. Come on, open up. You know who it is. Once again, the knife does look bigger in real life. Tim. But we've also already established it's Jay's knife. Everyone's always asking where he gets money talk. from. If no one had said anything, maybe we would have had him buy a bigger knife in the show. Drop it. What else do you have? Zip ties. Just want to talk? What were you going to do? Sit down. Sit down. The real Chadley, the Chadliest entry of them all, so far. You're a liar. You had that tape for how long, and you never told me. It was in my me. jacket pocket the day we both woke up next to that shack in Rosswood. I've had it ever since, and this. This right here is exactly why I haven't shown it to you yet. What are you talking about? I knew if you saw it now, you'd blame me for Jessica disappearing, and then that would make finding Alex even harder. Just tell me where she is. I don't know any more than you do. I don't even remember the parts that were on that tape. You should know that. I don't believe you. Well, you're gonna have to, okay? Because the way I see it, there's two possibilities. <laughs> One, she is dead, in which case there is nothing we can do. It wouldn't be my fault. Two, she is still alive, and if she is, we cannot go anywhere near her, especially not you. You could be followed, or you could show where she is on your camera, or something like that, and then she would get dragged back into this all over again. But if she's alive out there, she could need our help. She has to be dead to us regardless, Jay. We need to be focusing on finding Alex, because he's the one who's actually responsible for all of this. Blaming me isn't going to do anything. I looked at that address that was on the back of that picture we found in my attic. It's a nearby college, probably the one that Alex went to to be with Amy. I'm going there and I'm not taking you with me, not like this. Wait, Ted, just leave my camera. No. Leave my camera, I need it! No. Get it to me, Ted!
once again, a lot of the dialogue heavy scenes, I'm always like, when they're coming up, I'm always like, oh no, it's, I'm going to hate watching this. And then, I'm always like, I'm pretty happy with those. <laughs> I don't get to be extra mean on camera very often, so. Yeah, there's lots of Uno reversals in this, especially in this season. <laughs> Back already. Tim did a good job finding the same font Jay used. No, they just, uh, Jay showed Tim how to do it. What are you doing here? Hey! Including the timing for all the title cards. It's not Veranda, it's Tahoma. Tahoma Bold. No. Don't. Hey, hey, wait! <coughs> Yeah, see, now that's a bigger knife, but you can't just fold that up and stick that bad boy in your pocket, can you? Oh, now you want some. I see how it is. Yeah, Jay didn't have two-factor two authentication turned on, so that's why they could all log into the same account. So yeah, this was actually my old high school. It's a small Catholic high school in Alabama. Um, but it used to be a college up until the mid-80s. That's the actual classroom building right there that they still use. 
There are a few other buildings that they just didn't use for various reasons uh, since the college days. And so um, I already knew the faculty really well, and we knew there were buildings that they didn't use. Um, so we, I, I called them up and asked if we could film here, and they were like, yeah, sure. They just let me ride in. Let us ride in. And so we had permission, and we could take as long as we wanted. It was a refreshing feeling. So when I was in high school, this is where the theater for drama class was, and I performed the role of the dentist in Little Shop of Horrors my senior year of high school in this very room. So when I was in high school, I made this awful little little horror short thing on an actual handy cam, and it was sort of found footage esque in the same building. And one of the I I I never showed it to them, but I told them about it. But one of the shots was you see something in that that window above the room. And we slipped that shot in there as an homage. No, I do not still have it. No, you're not missing anything. I promise. You'll be a dentist. I don't remember the words. I think I still have that wrench in the trunk of my car. <laughs> there was another old building that was just full of really old tools from like the 40s probably. And so we just borrowed a couple and I think we might have forgotten to give them back. Still not tucking in my shirts. Whatever. There's actually an entire middle floor to this room that we didn't use. I don't know why. It looks cool. It's an actual library. Should have had like a chase among the bookshelves or something. Oh, wait, you know what? I think we tried it and, and it was too dark. Like there were no lights in there. There were no windows. See, I don't think we had walkie-talkies or anything for this. I don't think. So I honestly don't remember how we got the timing down for all this stuff. I mean, obviously, Joseph was around here somewhere, so he might have been watching and giving directions on our phones or something. And maybe we did have walkie-talkies. I don't remember. But there are also a lot of... Uh... There are also a lot of um, sneaky little cuts in this one, too, so that helps.
Uh, I think that was actually me dressed as Hoodie upstairs a little while ago. Swinging the wrench and whatnot. So the building on the right that we go into that has the basement and everything later is actually a church. So there's some creative framing here to not show any of the stained glass windows on the ground. You know, I remember the first the first take of this shot, um, the abbot of the monastery. He's the guy that the abbot's the guy that like runs the monastery, because uh, uh, this is a monastery on these grounds too, because it's Catholic school. Uh, was like right next to these steps. My voice keeps cracking today. He was right next to these steps almost, or like a little ways around it. I don't. I, it was whenever I come down these steps, but he like stopped me like. Hey, what you doing? And I was like, Oh, hey, you remember me? Uh, uh, cause he's known me since I was like a child. I was like, We're filming a little movie down here. The the others said we could. He's like, Oh, what kind of movie? It's a horror movie. Why are you filming a horror movie down there? Cause it's creepy down there. Oh, not to me, it isn't. This is whenever we had the outrageously powerful flashlight. I think could qualify as a weapon if you turned it all the way up. Yeah, there's kind of a lot of uh, cheating in this series when it comes to why didn't the characters hear sounds of, like, footsteps or whatever. But, I mean, you know, it's creative license, I guess. Because there's only so... You can only be so quiet in those situations in real life. My favorite season because it's so cinematic and then suddenly it's taking its sweet time and those shifts absolutely rule. I agree, Evan. Absolutely agree.
because again, it's you know, it's it's about establishing that rhythm. It's about the ebb and flow. It's like you have you have the long segments that kind of lull, lull you into a false sense of security, so that the payoff is that much more meaningful whenever it hits. But because we structured that with the full season in mind instead of individual entries, sometimes an entries would be a lot of ebb with little to no flow. So whenever it was originally airing, sometimes folks would get mad at us. But we didn't mind because we'd just be like, the next one will get it. The next one will get them. So I want to say the bloody handprint on the wall might have already been there because one of the monks had a, um, a pottery class down there in one of the rooms uh, two nights a week. It was like the one room in this basement with lights. And, uh, you know, obviously the students are going to sneak around from time to time. I think one of them smeared like a hand painted handprint on the wall. I believe we called it Benedict Hall because it was actually called Benedict Hall and we showed the sign and we couldn't not show the sign. Well, everybody, it is now 9.08. We got to save it. We got to save it. Look, okay, so I calculated it in advance. This is the two-hour mark. Now, 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 listen, hold up, hold on a second, listen, listen, chat, listen, listen. I see you, I see you. Would you rather start on this one, or would you rather end on it? Which one would be worse? <laughs> it had to be here one way or the other. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Would you really want to end the night on this one? Really? I'm pretty cruel sometimes. But I don't know if... I don't know. I'm seeing a lot of both here. Yeah. I mean, I'm thinking, look, imagine somebody comes in the next one and they're like, oh, I missed the last one. I forgot what happens. That'll be co that'll be the refresher. See, that's what I'm saying. Ending the night on this one would be way worse than ending it before, in my opinion. 
Plus, it's already 10 after 9. So, we're going to save it. I am looking out for you all. We're saving it. This is where we start. Because this is the be this is where the final section begins. It's like a it's like another transition into I don't know. There's another another gear shift in the story. So uh we shall leave off here for tonight and we shall pick back up tomorrow. Thank you all for joining me. Uh, do not miss tomorrow night's stream. Got some good stuff planned for after. I think you'll enjoy. Uh, thank you for coming. I'll see you tomorrow. Sweet dreams.